Hello guys, so in the previous video we integrated bootstrap to our project and in this video uh, we are going to do the first section in our project so this video and the upcoming one may get a bit longer than it could have been done simply and shortly but uh, I'll be going through some bootstrap deeply so that you can understand better and get an idea get the logic and then you can apply it by yourself better it would be better rather than just going through the code and yeah uh, coding non-stop so yeah I hope you will understand by this method so yeah in this first section there's really not much bootstrap but let's see there's some CSS and I'm not uh, I won't be going through CSS very much but yeah so let's see yeah first of all uh, let's remove this we don't need this and let's see what you have yeah this is the project that we are going to do uh, yeah we have the nav bar first so let's get it let's go what I'm doing it's here the nav bar go to content sorry components and then search nav bar here nav bar it's here so let's see what we have used what i have used before yeah i think it's um this yeah it's this with uh yeah with a little bit of changes in the background okay we can change that and i'll show you let's just copy paste this one here oh uh, yeah now let's change the background and i'll show you how it can be changed so here there are many uh, different background styles here we have the dark one that bar dark uh, bg dark then this one so what we want is this one we have to have half bar dark bg dark so let's see what we, it is right now. It's snap bar light, BG light. So we have to make dark for this one. Dark. Okay. I think let's see now. Save. And yeah, we have to run the project first. Just right click and click this. Open with live server. So live server, as I said before. Um, you can have this um, by installing this by these extensions you can have this extension by installing this from here so I recommend you to install that because it's pretty much convenient rather than running from here okay so as you can see I have two uh, projects simultaneously running right okay now yeah, we have to take this to the right side okay let's take this to the right side let's see the code so what we have to do the content that it is on the right side is this yeah all of this should go to the right side so let's check what is the container of this the container of this is this div class so uh, whatever we are going to do should be done for this so yeah the secret word for this is justify justify content and well if you are familiar with uh, CSS and flexbox I mean uh, flexbox in CSS you know what justify content and means uh, in flexbox uh, I said in uh, first video that the flexbox property has been used throughout bootstrap 4 so this is that we use justify content and for the flexbox property for display uh, flexbox so it's really CSS that I'm talking right now I, sh I really shouldn't be but yeah okay for if you don't know uh, to bring this content to the right we can have display in CSS what we do 
we set display uh, flex and then justify content we set that to end right that's what we do so simply that's uh, the class name it's similar to that so uh, developers know uh, what it is and you also know what it is so yeah or oh, yeah first let's see whether what I've said is true <laughs> yeah it's true yeah uh, it's uh, it has gone to the right side yeah so you can trust me now right uh, uh, what else I have to say disable yeah it's literally what it means this looks disabled yeah <laughs> um, yeah SR only uh, SR only means screen readers only screen readers only uh, if you don't know what a screen reader is a screen reader is used by visually impaired people for them to read out uh, what the screen has so here what happens is if the viewer if the user is on a screen reader this will be displayed uh, yeah the content uh, in this class will be displayed which is right now it's current so near home let's see near the home here uh, yeah like here there will be a text called uh, text uh, uh, called current so current will be here uh, for an example uh, if a visual impaired uh, person visits this uh, the screen will read navbar home and then current so you might know what uh, what the importance of that is because it will read out and uh, let the user know where he is in the website right now so yeah that's the idea of using sr only and uh, yeah there's nothing much else uh, okay, in this it's just basic coding yeah okay so let's get to the text the text and the beautiful cow image just here okay so I'm going to have section uh, by the class we would have section by the class oh section one okay. let's call it section one so that um, I'll have a div called uh, maybe header content header content yes. oh what's this header content okay magic and yeah don't worry I'm not doctor strange this is just a tip yeah this is just a simple uh, thing you can do and it's very efficient as you so what I did normally what you do uh, most of you do is just going on typing this but there's an abbreviation called Emmet. I'm not really sure how that's pronounced that's how I pronounce so yeah basically what you can do is if you have a class you can call that or oh, I've yeah, this is wrong. Uh, I'll type it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, how you're doing? If you have to ha and type the tag first, and then its class by a full stop. If it's an ID, this hashtag section one, and then inside that, if you have something, you have to put this greater than sign, and then. Uh, if it's a div, you don't have a tag, so you keep it blank and then you directly name the class What I was named uh, 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 Yeah, it's harder than coding those class names um, font header, no, no, no. header content uh, yeah. Right so simple and fast
well i did it slowly but <laughs> you can do it fast okay so okay let's have this and i'll be dividing the whole thing by thing by sections you can use dips but section it's more meaningful okay uh what we have inside and don't worry uh the css uh it uh, sometime it would be a bit different but yeah let's keep it let's try to have it as this okay let's uh welcome to the change we'll discover what we're about welcome okay let's have an actual class with the class display display three is another bootstrap class welcome to the change right and then a p with class lead oh, what was that again one discover pop up again uh oh, this is not important but yeah let's start the one discover one yeah, one discover we about. Okay, uh, let's. Yeah, and as I said, this display three. I'll show you that too. Okay, right. Display three. Let's see. Display three. Display three. What's that? But yes, okay. Display three. Oh yeah, I didn't click it. Yeah display three rather than changing the font size we can also have this display one super big then we selected display three okay let's have display three and yeah this is another bootstrap class just it beautifies this so next one was a button was it a button yeah it's a button okay uh, buttons we can have the button tag but also what we can do is having an anchor tag that's an a tag with the roll button okay let's see that a and also yeah uh, if you have like an h1 you can just uh, type h1 like this and press enter then the cursor will move along with the closing tag automatically that will happen and yeah, what I'm doing here is also the same. I'm just uh, pressing A, uh, sorry, just typing A, and then yeah, the href comes uh, automatically. And I'll set the role to button. I'll set the role to button, and then um, what you have, yeah, what's inside? What's inside this coward video? <laughs> Seems silly, but yeah, let's type this coward. Uh, okay. uh, right now you have to style this button and you know I've shown this button styling class uh, what was the class btn btn uh, yeah it's the green button so it's success success btn success btn lg okay so btn lg is uh, I said uh, to resize to size the button to set the size of the button and btn success is button class okay let's see again buttons okay so what i used is btn btn success so this button i used and the size large okay uh, let's see i've saved it yeah Welcome to change, yeah. So we'll do some CSS uh, after having the content. Okay, let's have the background image. So uh, I've created uh, a CSS uh, file and have linked as you can see. So once again, this is not a CSS course, so yeah, I'm not going much deep in that. So I'll set some uh, default styling here. 
well normally we do set this before doing anything uh, height and I will set the offer to auto I hope you know this and if you in case you don't know you can just click MDN reference and you'll be uh, guided into this so yeah keep learning yeah if you don't know uh, if there's something you don't know as I said yeah stop and go read that it's uh, what we want actually so and also for the body uh, I'll set a color here a default color uh, this is the color uh, I set in my previous one so you can set anything you want uh, it's based on how you design your website first those uh, default colors so yeah, um, yeah okay uh, let's style our thing to be styled let's see header content section one. okay for the section one what you have to do is Plus, no, it's an ID. Section one. Section one. Let's have background. Let's have the background. Um, okay. Um, sorry. Image and yeah, and for this, uh, I'll be <coughs> having a link for this folder so you can download and have it on your project uh, folder. Okay, let's say I don't remember the image. Uh, I think it's stage. Let's see. Image. Um. I think it's stage. Okay. And background size. Let's say the background size as half. Scale and background height. Let's say the height as. This is the height for the section. Okay. So we have set the height for the section and uh, the size for the background for cover that uh, which will cover the whole section which is 100% right uh, yeah, let's see let's see how we see it right yeah seems fine okay Power seems fine. Let's just center this image a little bit. You can center here, and yeah, we have. It's better if we put this always because no repeat. In case our image is small, uh, if we don't put this, in case our image is small, it will uh, be repeating. Oh, <laughs> it's a real mess here. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. And don't mind about that yeah it's quite centered now um yeah now we have to have this right here in the middle okay first let's bring this in the middle css you know so <laughs> i'll do um around the display flex Align, align the items. Oh, I think align items. Yeah, it's here. align items. Um, same. Right. Come to bottom. Come to center. And now we have to have this text in the middle. Now it's in the center of the div, and we have to get this text in the middle. Okay. And also align this to center. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, H1 class is place free. Yeah, header content. Let's have the class header content here. Header content. Header content. We'll take this to the middle. Okay. Uh, what we can do is 
uh, setting the margin to zero auto so if you set the margin to zero auto whatever is inside a parent class a parent div uh, will come to the middle let's see yeah it's in the middle uh, now we have to align this uh, to the center okay align align uh, text no, text align this text align text align center center text align center right it's in the center oh that's yeah uh all the others it's just css okay let's do that super quick i think it's a font weight here which is different font weight font weight uh, let's set up 500. Let's see now. Front weight 500 or oh, and color. Color white should be white. Okay. Oops, let me see again. Right. Uh, Well, this one seems fine, but this one should have more modifications. So, uh, let's focus on that one only. Header content h1. How was this? Header content h1. Uh, let's set uh, font weight to 600. Yeah, that's fine. And size, let's increase the size. I think that what let's see here. Font size. And yeah, for sizing and uh, other things, I'll be using rem. Uh, rem. So it's let's put two rem. No, three point five rem. Oh, it's more, it's more. Fire room. That be too much, I think. Yep, yeah, let's see fire. I think that's fine, pretty fine, yes. Okay, um, and yeah, should be in uppercase. Okay, let's do that also. Um, it's text transform. Text transform. Uh, uppercase okay. Dex transform uppercase right uh, seems fine. Yep. So uh, I won't be focusing much on CSS as I said before. You can uh, change this any in any uh, thing you want or that how you think it will look better uh, so I think this is fine yeah. oh yeah there's a small change here uh, yeah I haven't fixed the nav bar yeah that's what yeah okay let's fix it it's just a simple uh, class you have to add here it's nav bar uh, here you have to add fixed top that will fix the nav bar let's see oh, what's this? yeah it's now fixed I'm scrolling but you can't see but trust me I'm scrolling right now <laughs> and yeah it's fixed okay right so yeah uh, that's it for this video I hope uh, you have learned something uh, at least something little you didn't know uh, at least this uh, tip which is very valuable I think this emet abbreviation 
which I don't know how to pronounce, but I'll call Emmet. Right. Uh, so uh, this is it. I think. Let's see again, just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, this is it for the first uh, video. So, yes, in the next one, I'll be doing uh, yeah this carousel section, and yeah, in also this this is not much hard. This is just a copy paste of Bootstrap. You may already know how to do this with CSS and HTML, so we'll do it. Uh, we'll do this using bootstrap and yeah now in the next video I'll probably do both of both of these because this is, this is a small uh, thing to do yeah we'll do this also and um, yeah hope you have got what I wanted you to get so take care and let's meet in the next video bye bye